Administrators here at SIUE say there were several factors that played into this decision, but the students I spoke with here on campus say they ultimately see this affecting them and the university negatively. I think it's going to make getting into school less competitive. SIUE announced it will not require standardized testing scores in 2021 for incoming freshmen and transfers with fewer than 30 credit hours under their belt. Instead, students with a 2.6 cumulative high school GPA will be automatically admitted. Students with lower GPAs will be considered by the admission review committee. I think overall it's not beneficial because it lowers the requirements to get into a good school. I think it's unfair for like the rest of us that did have to take it to be able to like hit that certain score in order to get like our scholarships and everything that we have now. Most of the school's prospective students have not been able to take standardized tests due to COVID-19 gathering restrictions, but preliminary research out of SIUE's Center for Predictive Analytics shows a high school GPA weighs approximately six times more heavily in a student's success than an ACT score. I think that a lot of kids that maybe had like low GPAs are going to be able to get into schools, but at the same time, it's also going to re reward hard workers that maybe have would have not gotten into the school if they had like a lower ACT score. Associate Vice Chancellor for Enrollment Management Scott Bello Broderick stated in part, we would like to adopt the policy permanently in recognition of research demonstrating testing bias and inequities. A national trend has been developing for several years, which is likely to remove the standardized testing requirement from the admission process for many schools within the next five years. I think it's more of a boosting admissions type thing um, based on the fact that they want to keep this permanently rather than just for the upcoming admissions period. Reporting in Edwardsville, Michaela McGee, Fox 2 News.